Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the bench. Today I'm going to talk about a simple current limiting type circuit. Now a friend of mine just shot a video about that, and I don't mean to steal his thunder. I just wanted to expand on it a little bit, explain how it works, and even do a little demonstration here on the bench. And this is kind of a good tie-in. You know, he's a friend of mine, and... He has a fledgling electronics channel, and I'd appreciate if some of you guys would go over and take a look at his channel, Hills Workbench. I'll put a link down in the description. Okay, current limiting. This is used in some types of circuits, such as audio power amplifiers and maybe power supplies to help protect the transistor under a heavy load or short circuit. Okay, first I'll demonstrate the circuit without any current limiting. Now I do have one element that's needed in the current limiting circuit. I want to put it in this circuit without current limiting because you know if I add that in later somebody might say well it's affecting your results. So I want to have that here to show that it is not affecting the results. So we have a power supply, a current meter on the you know to measure the collector current, and this power transistor. Over here we have this potentiometer. I'm using a 10 turn precision type potentiometer because it's just something I had available. And this here kind of protects the uh, transistor and the potentiometer, this 1K resistor. Because if I turn this all the way up, you know, heavy current's going to flow through the potentiometer and the diode junction and could damage either the transistor or the potentiometer. So that just limits current, yet still gives me enough current to drive this transistor. Okay, here I have it set up. I have the transistor on the heat sink. There's the 2 ohm emitter resistor, and of course the potentiometer, and that 1K resistor right there. And let me bring in the meter. So I'll just turn up the potentiometer. It's 10 turns, so it takes a while. And you see we're half an amp, keep turning, gets up higher and higher. One amp, they're maxed out, about 1.4 amps. I can smell the resistor getting hot, so I'm backing that down. Okay, so you can see there's no current limiting. It just gets higher and higher as I turn the potentiometer. Now let's say I want to limit the current to the circuit. How can I do that? Well, let me just flip this over. Move that out of the way. So all I've done here is add a transistor and another resistor. So what do we know about transistors? Well, when we exceed the diode junction, the base to emitter diode junction, the transistor is going to conduct, start to conduct. Current's going to start coming through the collector as well. So, if we have a current going through this transistor, and what I'm calling here our sense resistor, if the voltage drop becomes 0.6, whatever the voltage drop across this diode junction in this transistor is, you know, it could be 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, I'll say 0.6. So if this voltage drop across this sense resistor reaches 0.6 volts, 
this transistor is going to turn on and it's going to shunt current away from the base of this transistor. So current is going to be limited. You know, the higher the current, the more this is going to shunt the current away from the power transistor. So that's pretty much it. It's very, very simple operation. So I've added this resistor here. What that does is protect this transistor from high current. You know, this is a small transistor. And of course, this is a lot of current flowing here. And if you have a lot of current, you know, and this junction starts conducting, you could actually damage the small transistor. So have a, a resistor here to protect that one. Okay, so now let's pick an arbitrary current value we want to limit. And let's say we want to limit to 300 milliamps. So when this voltage becomes 0.6 volts across this, uh, this resistor, this transistor starts conducting. And, you know, I kind of pick this ahead of time because I had this exact value that would work, this 2 ohm resistor. So you take 0.6 divided by 2 ohms, you know, typical Ohm's law equation, voltage on top, 0.6 divided by 0.3, and that's how I come up with that sense resistor. Now, I have a feeling, yeah, I haven't tested this yet, I haven't set the uh, current limit circuit up yet. I have a feeling it's probably not going to come out that way because you know the voltage might be different. The um, this um, base to emitter voltage drop might be different so it's going to throw it somewhat. It's not an exact thing. There's transistor parameters and and we'll just see how it works here. Let me go find a suitable transistor. Like a, um, you know, this is not a high voltage circuit. We're just using 12 volts. So you can use just about any transistor like a 2N2222 two 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 or a BC337. Something like that. So I'll set that up, come back, and we'll see what happens. Okay, got it set up. Here goes nothing. And the transistor's here. Here's the protection resistor or the limiting resistor right there in the circuit. Let's see if I can get that on the circuit so you can see everything. And I want to start cranking it up and see if it limits the current. That's at 260. There's 300. It's going by that somewhat. Seems to be uh, hovering around that. Okay, I maxed out. Well, it did go over that a little bit. 371 milliamps. But I'm got it maxed out. But it, it did its job. It limited the current. Pretty cool. I actually just set it up right in the video and it worked. That's kind of amazing. You set something up and it actually works. So it's a basic current limiter. In an actual circuit like an audio amplifier, there might be other components. They might preset the bias with a res resistor divider because sometimes you want this resistor here to be different in the actual power transistor circuit. So they'll do that. They'll even have a capacitor from here to ground because this is kind of like an amplifier, it could even oscillate under certain conditions. So the capacitor prevents that and it also delays that. So if you know if you have a power amp and you have and you know powerful kick drum beats, you don't want the uh, amplifier going into current limiting too quickly. So having a capacitor across of enough value will delay that turn on. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Sorry.
So we're going to have a staring contest. I'm not sure what he wants. He does the statue pose and stares, fixated. Usually means he wants something. But it's not feeding time. I'm not sure what we want here. <laughs> 